All right, this is a quick tutorial on how to uh, install, easy install a, in, uh, a WordPress on uh, on one-on-one -on -one hosting. I'll later in a different tutorial show you how to actually install WordPress on any server. But one-on-one -on -one has made it really, really easy. So if you're hosted at oneonone.com, um, this is the easiest way to do it. And it's they've made it really simple. So all you do is go to one-on-one, -on -one, um, or there's a link down below the description uh, to get you there. And then <coughs> you'll log into your control panel. I'm already logged in, so your control panel will look like this. And uh, after you're logged in, then all you do is go down to here. After you go down to dom domains, old hosting, and uh, website applications, just go down to website, um, not uh, website builder. You want to go to uh, click and build. You have to click on click and build. It takes you to all these applications that are already uh, ready to go in one one They'll build a database for you and everything pre-done. So um, you can see what they have here. They have you know Nukem and, and different kinds of forums and that kind of stuff. And if you just keep scrolling down, you'll get over here to um, WordPress. Let me find it down here. Come on. I must have passed it, so let's back back up. Sorry, I haven't had enough coffee this morning. <laughs> and there's WordPress at the very top. So you just hover your mouse over it. It'll give you the installation application. And uh, click install. And then you just got to accept their BS. Accept that. Click next. And then right here, <coughs> you can name your blog. You can either name it now or you can name it later, actually, in WordPress. If you're familiar with WordPress, you know that. Um, so I'm going to leave that alone. Actually, no, I'll change it to the name of the site. So the name of the site I'm doing is Jet Set Indy. And then um, if you already have a, a domain, either you can create a new subdomain of any of these domains to install it at, or like I already have a domain name that I want to install it on. So I'm going to come down here and go down to Jet Set Indy, and you'll have domains if you have. Otherwise, if you click on subdomain, I'll just show you, um, basically it'll make a subdomain of whatever website here. So like if you, you know, to have that one. So if I want to call this, you know, the, it'll go the dot ccom dot ws, but I don't want to do that. I want to go to and make it on this domain name right here. And then, uh, the administrator, I just, you know, you always leave the administrators admin for me. That just makes it easier. And then create a password. I type my passwords in here. And then repeat. And then email. Um, and then um, blog title again. I have this Jet Set Indie. This right here will appear. Um, actually, you do want to change this one up here. I'm sorry. That just gives you an idea when you look in your database what the name is. Um, <clears throat> so that would help out, actually. I need to make that Jet Set Indy 1. Actually, I'll make it 11. Um, and here we go. And then you press Install. And then you get this little thing right here. Boom. There you go. It's installed. So now if I go to... WordPress login. Uh, it takes a second for it to to actually build the database and the database to come up. So in about oh five ten minutes, I'll I'll re show you where it's at, and we'll be back. Okay, so it's been about three minutes and uh, refresh the page and the database has been built. So now you just log into your back end of your WordPress that one and one just installed. And it's going to give you these little things just like, uh, well, later when I show you how to install a database, you don't have to go through these steps. So um, update WordPress database. And um, then just hit continue. And there you go. It's all installed. Now, um, first thing I would do after do this is I would actually go ahead and update WordPress because they have an older version they're running 3.1 and it right now it's it's 3.4.1 so just click on update 
and then you can click on automatic update you can see it's going through his ah okay it failed well anyhow I'll come back to that later anyhow so your WordPress blog is installed so it's Jets and Indy and there we go it's installed ready to go so um, come back to your admin page you can go to your dashboard and uh, you can also if you click update if it doesn't install that way you can click on update um, or download and then put it up on your server and go to update but that'll be in a different video but for right now just to get your hands wet and get going you can do that and it's not necessary to update the WordPress uh, database right off the bat you know you do whatever you want pretty much hasn't changed anything from the one from the um, from version 3.1 to 3.4 I mean nothing I've seen um, you know but anyhow there you go and hope you like the video please subscribe and tell your friends and watch my videos